This video is specifically for people who are using less than ideal monitors and mixing in a less than ideal room for mixing, okay? Um, I am part of a Facebook group, it's on Facebook. Uh, the, it's the GarageBand users group. Hey guys, what's up? I just thought, you know, I have been really enjoying my time on that page. If you don't know what I'm talking about, and especially if you use the iOS version of GarageBand, check out that page. People are always posting videos and questions and it's, you know, it's a good active community of people. Um, I am one of the active members over there now. So anyway, one of the things that I've noticed a lot when I see the pictures of people's studios, um, I, I see a lot of less than ideal monitors in less than ideal situations. You guys might be in a corner or you might be, you know, in a tiny little closet. I, I see all sorts of things and it really made me realize, hey, I have something to share with those people because there is something you can do to work around that problem you have. So there's pretty much one thing I'm gonna recommend, and that is mix at low volumes. You hear it all the time, but I'm gonna tell you why we engineers, especially the ones online that make videos, we talk about this all the time, why you should mix at low volumes. The reason is, the more you mix at loud volumes, the more the problems in your room will be. Right? I mean, think about it. If you are, you know, you got bass problems in the corner, especially if you're in a corner, um, if you have bass problems or high end problems, the more you turn up your monitors, the more those problems in the room will be accentuated. So to a certain degree, it removes the room as part of the equation when you're mixing. Of course, it's not gonna get rid of 100% of it, um, but the more you are, you know, ha have your speakers set up perfectly or as well as you can, you know, read the owner's manual, understand how they're supposed to be set up, you know, where the tweeters are supposed to be in your room and all that stuff in relation to your ears. Understand that stuff as well. But you can get around this issue of your room being bad. Now on the other end of it, of course you have monitors that might not be ideal either. Same goes for that. That's why I keep talking about mixing at low volumes. I talk about it all the time in my videos, um, but specifically for you people out there in less than ideal situations, which I am one of you, but my situation's a little better than some that I've seen, but. Um, um, I'm not in a perfect space by any means, you know? Um, but yeah, the lower you mix, the less the problems of your equipment and your space will be accentuated. So this doesn't have to be a long discussion. You can do some reading um, over on Recording Magazine. There's actually some good articles I was just reading about um, this exact problem because I do still have some issues in my room that I'm trying to figure out how to solve. I wanna put some you know, more padding on the ceiling and stuff up there and I'm trying to figure out what to buy and I have some um, panels that I'm gonna just build, I think. So um, anyway, that's it. Mix it low volumes because it sort of gets rid of all these problems you got. And uh, I'll just say it again, mix at low volumes. All right, you guys, super short video today. Um, I'm a little sick if you couldn't tell. So anyway, you guys, thank you very, very much for watching. Please hit that subscribe button because I'm trying to get that play button. I've been here for like nine years and uh, nine years next month, by the way. And um, yeah, working on getting that silver play button for 100,000 subscribers. We're going for 100,000. Let's go, people. So anyway, have a great day. Love you. Peace.